So what makes a good strategy? So a strategy is one of these things that means different things to different people sometimes. It could, it could be a blueprint for your business. It could be a, a roadmap. It could be a set of rules of engagement. It could be an action plan. At Mountain Boardroom, when I work with, with business owners, we cover what I think are, are nine key pillars, uh, which I think together make what is a quite a good, solid, comprehensive business strategy. The first thing we look at is is why. Why are you in business in the first place? And and, and following on from that, why does your business exist? You know, who does it serve? What value does it bring? The second pillar we look at is around values. So this is what's important to you. Uh, What do you hold dear? How do you conduct yourself? What conduct do you expect in others? The third pillar is quite a big one. That's around vision. You know, this is where you want to be in three, five years' time. Uh, what does that mean in a year's time? What does that mean in three months' time? What does it mean in a month's time? And really setting objectives and goals around that as well, which are, are specific, which are measurable. We don't want to get lost in the vagaries around these. We want to make sure that we're quite clear where we want to go. The next section is around customers. So who do you serve? You know, what's their problem? What, 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 what's their, what are their dreams? What's keeping them awake at night? And following on from that, it's, it's about your what, what uniqueness. What makes you unique? You know, your USP. Is it a product? Is it a service? Is it a method? Is it you yourself? Do you bring something unique to the party? And, and an extension of that as well is what's your signature product? What do people come to you for that you're known for? Or what do, they, what do you want them to come to you for? The next section is around the gap. So this is about understanding what you've got today in the locker. You know, it could be assets that are tangible. It could be cash. It could be knowledge in your head. It could be experience. And then looking at where you want to go and then working out what the gap is between the two. The next section is around, around blockers. So this is stuff that's on your mind now that's stopping you from where you want to go, that's stopping, stopping you getting to your goals, but also it could be stuff in the future as well that's happening in the next year. So it's looking externally, internally, what could affect your business and yourself that could stop you getting to where you want to go. We then bring it all together in the eighth pillar, which is the action plan. This is where we come up with actions, some big and absolutely massive ones like projects, some are a lot smaller and tangible. We prioritise those, we set them into each quarter to make sure we've got a plan for delivery. And the final one, which is absolutely crucial, is around how do we deliver this? And that's about getting the accountability to make sure it happens. It's also about working on the mindset to give you, give you the power to deliver what you want to deliver.